Majesty the Queen is greeted by the Earl of Scarborough, the Lord Lieutenant of the West Riding, when she arrives at Barnsley Station. Crowds roar their welcome as the Queen, at her own request, walks along Regent Street towards the Town Hall. The Mayor of Barnsley, Alderman McVie, and the Mayoress escort the royal couple. On the dais, erected just in front of the Town Hall, Her Majesty signs the visitor's book. Then follows a gift from the people of Barnsley, a model pit tub containing a piece of coal from the Barnsley scene. Following a brief visit to Wombwell, the Queen and her husband come to Rotherham. And here, as at all places on the Royal Route, a tremendous reception is accorded the Royal Visitors who make an appearance on the balcony of the Town Hall. And so to Sheffield for the main part of the day's programme. The Lord Mayor, Alderman Bingham, is first to welcome the Queen. Other leading citizens are received by Her Majesty and the Duke. The presentations are followed by the review of the Guard of Honour. This is mounted by the Hallamshire Battalion of the York and Lancaster Regiment. The inspection over, the Queen returns to the Town Hall. Then, to the delight of the thousands gathered below the gaily decorated balcony, Her Majesty comes out to acknowledge their greeting. A visit to the River Don Works of the English Steel Corporation is made during the Queen's stay in Sheffield. From a glass-walled box, the royal couple watch some of the work being carried out. This steel-making and engineering works is the largest within the city's boundaries. The melting department, the heavy forge and the heavy machine shop are visited by the Queen and the Duke during their half-hour tour. The city's children spell the words, Welcome to Sheffield, across the Hillsborough football ground. About 43,000 boys and girls greet the Queen, who is to watch a mass display. Now, intricate marching and counter-marching by the children, who have been practicing the routine for many weeks. There's a special cheer from the crowd as 3,000 children form themselves into the pattern of a giant Union Jack. The Queen and Prince Philip board a Land Rover to drive around the huge arena so that all the children may have a closer view of them. The tumultuous reception given by the children to Her Majesty and the Duke is perhaps the most memorable scene of the first day of the royal visit to Yorkshire. 